Well, she this was the fucked up thing was she wasn't in any way overweight. Like she was beautiful. She had a great body. She just it was just like a weird. She was an actress, you know. And I think that that pre, the pressure of that gig mm-hmm. is just so crazy. Yeah, it's just first of all, you take someone who most of the time the reason why we want to become an actor is because they didn't get enough attention. That's a lot of what causes it, especially if you have like this weird sort of non-specific desire for yeah. fame. It's yeah. not like you, you're you a really good character actress. You know, you're a Faye Dunaway or something like that. You're just really good. Or you love the craft of right. creating a character. No, there's a lot of them that just want to be famous. And why? Why is that? It's usually there's something fucked up from childhood. Usually somebody wasn't paying attention to them. <clears throat> parents split up something went wrong right yeah so you take this person that's super insecure and has this exorbitant need for attention and then you put them through this audition process the audition Ugh. process is the craziest thing ever it, it, it devastates people's self-esteem because you just get yeah. rejected all the time rejected all the time yeah you're not selling a t-shirt that no one wants you're selling yourself like yeah dude i just date this girl when i first moved to la <clears throat> and when she would go on auditions when if she would get rejected, she would want to fuck like a wild animal. It's like mm. she wanted something to just like she wanted to just fucking Validation. scream too. She wanted to, ah! yeah. She was. It was like the stress of it all was so crazy. She wanted validation. She wanted to blow off steam. Yeah. And it was just the the stress of it all. It's so unhealthy. And the people that go into that are some of the most, the least. It, it's the least advisable career path for them. Yeah. To be exactly. healthy. Exactly. Yeah. It attracts the wrong people. Yeah. It's just a fucked up situation. You have these people judging you. Like, come on in, Kyle. Yeah, I can't. Tell, uh, me, tell us about yourself. I have a lot of trouble auditioning. Tell me what your favorite animal is. Yeah. What's your what second you favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's who you are. I told that to Tom You're Cruise. You're a goat. You he told Tom Cruise it. he loved it? Oh, loved cool. It. That's great. Mm-hmm. Wow, Tom Cruise. I went on an audition once, and this girl... Um, told me, she asked me where I was from, and I said I was from New Jersey. And uh, she goes, uh, <clears throat> she goes, I'm from New York. She goes, well, I'm actually from New Jersey, but I don't tell people that. I go, why? She goes, well, it's cooler to say you're from New York. I go, that's ridiculous. I go, yeah. that doesn't make any sense at all. I go, why would you lie? I go, and then you just told me. And she goes, are you ready to audition? I'm like, Okay, so she's like giving me like this sour look, and I had a sing. Wait, the auditioner yeah, yeah, yeah. told yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. then I, she had this sour look in her face, and I had to sing a, a line <laughs> from a Bruce Springsteen song to her in the audition. It was so humiliating. What were you auditioning for? To some be in terrible his band? movie. Some oh. terrible movie. It was a scene in the movie where there's a guy and a girl, and you know, yeah. I'm like telling the girl how much I love her, and I'm singing like fucking Born to Run or something like that. I don't I remember. I think everyone would love to hear a little bit right now. The day we walk it down the street of a runaway American dream. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't even remember what and song it was. You didn't get it? No, no, no. Not oh. not only did I not get it, but this is very. A very important moment for me. I left, and um, I, I real. I, that's when I realized I was like this. This whole process, for me at least, is broken. Like I, I'm not good at this. Yeah, this is not. I, I'm not good at pretending to be someone. Like everybody who goes in there, they they go into these auditions, and there was these people who were like air quotes working actors right yeah. they do a little uh, the, I, you know I, I was on just shoot me for a saying yeah. you know i had a nice episode on this you know those people they're like hopping around mm-hmm. those people they develop this real slick way of talking and they don't say nice to meet you because they might already met you so they say good to right. see you good right. to see you kyle I good to that, see actually. you actually oh it's because i keep remembering oh, forgetting people it's, you know it's, you don't have dunbar's number you only have a yeah. cer- certain number of people you can keep in your head yeah. but this 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 way of doing it, i i was recognizing it the way they would talk everyone was like super left-wing super progressive no one explored ideas you just adopted whatever everybody else was going with and ran with oh yes i agree hillary is so much more qualified everybody mm-hmm. would just people would just say shit like that it was just it was really strange they were like real obvious Democrat lean. They, they weren't thinking it through. They had just adopted this mindset yeah. and they were just sneaking their way through this system. They were like exploiting 
little personality holes in the system and they would get become friends with casting agents and one of the casting agents was a woman I knew this one casting agent who was friends with a friend of mine and <clears throat> she was kind of gross I'm just being nice. I'm being kind mm -hmm. by saying kinda. Mm -hmm. And uh, she fucked all these actor guys. And she would get. Oh, these... I want to know who this is. I can't tell you. She she she's a nice lady. She just looked. She's she was basically doing yeah. what a lot. She was doing the casting couch in reverse. Right. But she was like aggressive, sexually aggressive with guys. Yeah. And one of my friends. She was super sexually aggressive with one of my friends. Is you it know? Henrietta Weinstein? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, you know, she was, she was casting quite a few different shows. Yeah, and she knew how to, she knew how to she get these, these, hmm. these exploit people, these guys that were saying, "Good to see you." Those mm -hmm. guys, she would fuck those guys. Yeah, because that was that was the way they could play it. You know, that's She's the way like, they get closer. Is it good closer. to see this? Yeah, I wonder how, how her seduction went. I don't down. know what it was. It's brutal though. <clears throat> Auditioning is it's hard. I, I, I'm terrible. I booked one. I, I've gotten like sketch shows, but I've I've only booked one show where it was like a script, like a, it was a sitcom. I booked like a guest starring thing, and I went in and I'm a terrible reader. And for the read through, they do a read through with the network, like I don't know, a couple days before they shoot, and they gave me like, oh, you have eight new lines, whatever. And I can I read like a third grader. I have a <laughs> very poor. So I. The big table read through, and I stammered through the whole thing. And I got fired. So the <laughs> only show I booked, really, off a typical audition, reading a script, I was fired from. Jesus so Christ! I, I mean, so many wasted hours memorizing, paying acting coaches. None of it worked out for me. I mean, was, Why? Because I get really nervous. I feel very judged. I feel very uncomfortable. I'm a terrible reader. <laughs> so I end up like having to memorize it, and then most of my time is like trying to remember it's just basically I get too nervous is really yeah. the answer did you ever try to like see a hypnotist or anything like that or come up no with... but that probably would have been a good idea because it was a mental yeah like shut down like you know some people just react you, you don't, can't help how you react but it's like if you can imagine if you're afraid of bees for example it's like going an audition with a bunch of bees flying around you did your 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 body's reacting in like a fear way right. where it's really hard to grab your facilities to act or whatever you're doing. It's impossible. Yeah. So Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, especially if you think like this god, this could be it. This is the big moment. It's always. like the, one of the worst ways for you to behave like <laughs> yeah. or or to perform rather in something that's like really important. Yeah. Especially like an acting situation where you know you're supposed to pretend to be in love or to pretend to be you mm -hmm. know happy and yeah. what, whatever the fuck it is like you're all you're thinking is don't fuck this up don't don't fuck this yeah. up and that's like the overlying mantra to all your thoughts. Doing it, do this correct is not the great mindset where you're going to do <laughs> a good performance. I had like um, uh, oh, I just fell out of my head. Whatever I was about to say was going to be hilarious. It was the best part of the show. Oh, it was going to be great. <clears throat> yeah, it's the, but this is one of the reasons why so many people are so crazy out here. It's they come here crazy, and then the system gets them crazier. And then you also realize that unless you're doing something like what you're doing, or you're just doing your own thing on Instagram, someone has to pick you to work. Mm -hmm. You have to get picked, which is just nuts. Like As comics, all we have to do is just go to an open mic night, practice, you know, write, come up with some jokes, do yeah. well, you come back, do well, you come back, you just keep grinding, a couple years down the road, you're starting to get a, a gig here and a gig there, yeah, I'm opening up for this guy, and yeah, I got a gig emceeing at this place, and then a couple years after that, I'm middling, and then a couple, and like, there's a there's an actual mm -hmm. thing you can do. Yeah. If you're good, you can do, you can make a living. I can't imagine just, just being an actor. Uh. Forget it. Uh, they go crazy, dude. I, I have friends that are just actors. They go crazy. They all go crazy. Yeah. By the time they're in their 40s, they're out of their fucking mind. And women, oh, they, 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 they feel like they're, they feel like they have this little tiny ass hourglass and it's just running out of sand mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. And like you said, it's, you know, a lot of times you're not starting with the most secure people. No, almost never. 